full brightness on this DRL and this one is only about half as bright. So in order to do this, you have to remove the headlight. I'll show you how to remove the headlight on this car. It's pretty simple to pull it out and then I'll show you what you need to do to repair it. This is a 2017 Audi S3. So this is gonna be the same for the A3, uh, S3 and RS3. So all you need is a quarter inch um, ratchet, some extensions, and then this is a, a, a T25 and a T30 Torx. So you don't even have to jack the car up in order to remove uh, the bumper. You don't even have to take the entire bumper off just to pull off one headlight. So you just remove these three uh, screws here. Those are T30s. And then you will also remove uh, um, three screws here. These are gonna be uh, T25s. And then there's also one screw that holds up here in the bumper. And there's one that kind of goes back down underneath this headlight that's also a T25. Once you take those out, there's also gonna be three screws that are underneath the car here. So you'll just take the three out there's one uh, here in the center and then on the other side. Once you get that out, then you can just pull here on the bumper, pull it out, and then you can get to those two screws to remove the headlights. And then the headlight screws, there's one underneath here. That's why I have to remove the bumper. And then you have a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. And then all these top screws on the headlight bulbs are also going to be T30. So you're either going to be using a T25 or a T30 in order to remove the headlight. And there's one electrical connector on the back of the headlight uh, to pull it out. And, it's, and it slides out of a little bracket here in the corner. You just push it out of the bracket and then you can remove it, remove it from the body. Once you pull out these uh, three screws, then you can just pull back uh, the fender liner like this. And then you're going to have one screw right here that you need to remove. And then there's one screw back here. So you just want to use a long extension like this. And uh, it may be easier if you use a swivel and it's a T30 to pull that out. Once you pull that out, then you can pull the bumper uh, off here once you have the bolts on the top and then the bolts on the bottom removed. So this is the screw here. So want, you can just use your extension to pull that screw off. And like I said, the other screw is right here. You can get that one from underneath. So you just want to use a long extension, uh, possibly a swivel to get the end of that one. So once you get the screws removed, then you can just grab the bumper here, pull it off and pull it back. So all you need to do is be able to just pull the bumper out back far enough just so you can get into here. And then once you get it back, then there's a screw underneath the headlight here. And then there's other couple of screws uh, on the top uh, that I showed you earlier. So once you remove those, then you can remove the headlight. So there's another shot. You can see the screw right in there underneath the headlight. And then once again, you have a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. Once you take those out, then you can slide the headlight back. And then you also just have to pull it out from this bracket right here. You just kind of slide, pull this back and slide that out and they'll come right out. The way that these work on the DRLs is you have an LED chip that's on the back of the headlight. So this is actually what I removed from the back of my headlight. So you can see here, this, these are the LEDs that light up your DRL. And you can see that these are melted and these are the turn signal ones. So these were actually still working. It's just, since they melted, that's why the DRL on the front of the headlight here was dim. So you can see this is the DRL module. So if you have any car and your DRLs are out completely, so let's say your DRLs are not working at all or, and your turn signals are not working, and that means you need to replace this chip. So when you can find these on eBay, you can get them from China. This one was about $50 to, uh, for a new one, but this one was still good. It's just that it, it melted. So if you remove the, uh, the DRL chip off the back of the headlight, so it's with two T20s here, you can remove that from the headlight. So when you can see that uh, these chips uh, are still good, but what happened is it melted the tube here on the back of the headlight. So your options are you can either try and cut this tube and polish that out to clean it up, and or you can buy a donor headlight and actually bake the headlight, open it up, and remove the tube. Because the way that this works is this LED 
uh, is actually up against this tube and there's a clear plastic tube that runs the length of the headlight. And that actually is what shines the LED for your DRL. So on mine, I'm either gonna try and clean this tube or I actually bought a second donor headlight on eBay that was cracked lens and had all the electronics removed. And then I can see if I can swap out this tube, but there's no way to pull this tube out, I don't believe, without actually opening the headlight. So, you know, like I said, in, in the case of it just needing, if your DRLs are out completely, you can look for these chips and then replace that. So, and you can also swap them from side to side. So if you're working on, let's say you have one out on your passenger side, you can take this chip off the back of your headlight off the driver's side. It won't bolt up because they are right to left, but it is the actual same chip. So it will plug and play. And you can do the same thing with your headlight as well. So if you're having an issue with the headlights, with the ballast or the bulbs, you can switch these as well from right to left. And then you can test that as well. So on this one, you have your ballast here, and then you also have another uh, controller, a uh, light controller here for the LEDs as well. So like I said, you can always try doing that, swapping right to left, see if that solves your problem. But the biggest, the easiest thing to do if your DRLs are not working is to go ahead and remove this chip. And you can even have this uh, out while you plug it in and see if these light up. Uh, and that will tell you if your LED, if your DRLs and turn signals aren't working, you can test that. And then you also wanna look at the tube here to see if the tube is melted at all. So this is a donor light that I bought off eBay. You can see here on this tube, the end of this tube is good. It hasn't been melted or anything. So I'll have the choice either to, to either try and clean this one up here that is melted um, or I can swap the tube. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and open up the headlight and swap the tube. But this headlight, you can see here, it's, the lens is cracked, but it's the same actual headlight that I bought. And I bought it just to be a donor headlight off of eBay and it was $70. But these headlights new from the dealership are about $1,800. And then on eBay, they sell for about $800. And that may or not include all the electronics with the headlight. It could be just the bare headlight. So if you're having a problem with some of the electronics, that may not solve the issue. But if all this requires is you to just change out this tube here in order to save you buying a brand new headlight, this could end up saving you hundreds and or even thousands of dollars. And this will restore your LED function of your headlights. So with that chip pulled back, you can see that the LED lights are on and they're really bright. So that's another way you can test this chip. Just make sure you have it plugged in and the headlight on. You can see if, uh, if it lights up. All right, so this is the actual light tube. So I did take apart this headlight and I did bake it open and it was really tough to get it open. And uh, so what I, you saw earlier was the end of this uh, tube was actually melted. So you have the LED here. So basically the way it works is the LED, it goes on the LED like this and then shines through the tube. So that's how you get your DRL. So, but <clears throat> what I found out was the much simpler way to fix this problem instead of buying another headlight and baking it is what you can do is on your on your headlight all that you need to do is remove uh, remove the chip off the back side of your headlight here and then you can see the end of the the uh, DRL tube so what you need to do is I took a little razor and I cut off all the burnt kind of ends on it and I took a Dremel to Dremel this smooth and then I took some acrylic polish and polished it polish this up so it did end up being uh, a little bit shorter um, but now it is I, I pretty much have the full brightness on the DRL of the headlight so really if you have this issue with just your DRL being dim and it's because this being burnt all that you really need to do is take some time to clean up the end of this and you can just double check this to make sure that these LEDs are working. So, and then all you need to do is clean up the end of this tube the, and get all the burnt ends off and then polish this up and then it'll be good to go. So that's how I ended up resolving it. So, and this should work pretty much 
for any uh, any style headlight that doesn't use, because like old school ones have like multiple LEDs all throughout, and then this one doesn't work that way. It is, it is just this tube here. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them uh, down below and then I can help answer them for you.